Welcome. In front of me, I have a Huawei watch fit for Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Pairing a, a Huawei watch with the Android phone is a bit tricky because you can't download the Huawei Health application directly from the App Store anymore, or if you can, it's probably outdated and you won't be able to connect the devices together. So what we need to do is to first download the uh, Huawei App Gallery and then use it to download the Huawei Health application. So to do that, we need to open a browser on our phone. I'm gonna use the Google Chrome, but you can use any type of browser. And in the browser, we need to tap on the uh, search and type in, uh, I believe it's app uh, gallery. That Huawei. That com. This one. App gallery. That Huawei. That com. And once you enter that address, it should direct you to the to this page. Uh, and on this page, you should see this button right here in the top left corner, the download button. Tap on it. Come on. And then tap on install app gallery. It will start downloading the file. And once it's done, you will see the pop-up that file downloaded. And you can tap on this pop-up, or on the open button rather. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed for the uh, browser to open the third part file, tap on settings. It will direct you to this page and you need to allow from this source. And then you will see the pop-up about the installation. Tap install. It will start installing the app gallery. And once it's installed, you will see this pop-up. You can tap on done or open if you want to open the app gallery. Okay, in the app gallery, tap on next, agree. And tap on okay. For some reason we had some pop-up about the denied access but the app is still working and as you can see we have some more pop-ups about the permissions for the notifications and stuff like that i'm gonna not allow it and then we can update the app gallery to the newest version i'm just gonna tap on later for now and now you should see the main page of the app gallery and what we need to do is to download the huawei health application so tap on search and type in huawei health and tap on search and you should see this application on the top of the list Huawei Health and you can tap on the install button next to it oh I actually tapped on it so let's tap on install as you can see we need to allow the permission so tap on settings and again allow from this source and then you can go back and tap on install again it should start installing or downloading first, then it will start installing. So let's tap on install. Okay, and the Huawei Health application is done installing because the install button changed to open. So now what we need to do is to turn on our watch. So press and hold the crown button, keep, hold that, keep holding it. And once you see the Huawei logo on the screen, you can release it and wait until the watch is done booting up. Uh, in the meantime, we can open the Huawei Health application. And here we have an uh, option to select the service region. Tap right here and scroll through the list, look for the region you want, and then tap on it uh, to select it. Then tap on next, next, agree. Allow or deny the permission for the physical activity. But if you want to track your activity, you will need to allow this permission. Then we have the notifications, and you can allow it or deny it. And uh, you will see the ad for the watch we're trying to pair with our phone. Okay, and you should see the help page of the app. On the watch, you should see the list of languages. You can scroll through it, find the language you would like to use, tap on it to select it, and then you will see the pairing page. It basically tells you to download the Huawei Health and use it to pair the devices and together. So, go to the devices. I tap on this icon right here. Uh, tap on Add Device. Allow the required permission. It will start scanning for the nearby devices and it should detect your watch. Here we have it, Huawei Watch Fit 4 Pro. Tap on it. Or on Connect. 
and it will want you to uh, uh, log in into Huawei ID account. If you don't have an account, you can make a new one by tapping on register right here. If you have an account, simply enter the email address and password. I already have one, so I'm gonna enter the credentials. And then tap on login and we need to fill in the captcha for some reason and as you can see we need to verify with the code from the email address so we need to tap on get code and it will send the code to the, to the email address associated with my account uh, actually let me check the email Okay, we have the code. I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna paste it right here. And we're gonna tap on OK. And after you log in, the app will basically restart, unfortunately. And we need to tap on devices again. Uh, tap on add device. It will start scanning again, find, uh, wait until it finds the, uh, your watch, and then tap on connect next to it. Scroll down uh, and tap on allow permissions, and it will start uh, pairing these devices together. Uh, tap on the check mark on the watch, and tap on allow, uh, or you don't need to allow. This was for the contacts, I believe, so this is useful if you want to uh, use your watch to uh, hang up the calls, pick up the calls on your phone and stuff like that. But as you can see, it disappeared and now we have the terms of use. So I'm gonna scroll down, check the box, up next. Here we can uh, enable the auto updates. If you check the boxes, it will basically auto update your watch. Uh, if you don't care, you can just uncheck them and tap on continue. And here you can tap on done and continue. And now we have these notifications. Um, basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you need to enable them. And once you enable them, uh, you should see basically the list of apps and you can enable and disable the notifications for specific apps. Sometimes you will be, you will be seeing the pop-up about the uh, permission required and it will redirect you to the settings page where you need to basically allow the notification access and to do that you need to tap on the app and uh, tap on the switch next to allow notification access and once you allow it the notifications should be working okay so we can tap on done okay and next we have the uh, location permission but first we have the uh, subscription offer i'm gonna tap on back allow only while using the app okay and here we have our watch on the device page. And if you go to your watch, it should be ready uh, to use. And here we have it. Okay. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.